A great tactician creates plans. A good tactician recognizes the soundness of a plan presented to him. A fair tactician must see the plan succeed before offering approval. Those with no tactical ability at all may never understand or accept it, nor will such people understand or accept the tactician. To those without that ability, those who possess it are a mystery, and when a mind is too deficient in understanding, the resulting gap is often filled with resentment. It is simple. The Empire has the means of mass destruction. The Rebellion does not. We've only now managed to gather our forces. Gather our forces? General Draven's already blown up an Imperial base. A decision needed to be made. That's how it's going. Why have an alliance at all? I say we fight! We must scatter the fleet. If it's war you want, you'll fight alone. Military leadership is a journey, not a destination. It is continually challenged and must continually prove itself anew against fresh obstacles. There is satisfaction in defeating an enemy, but one must never allow oneself to become complacent. There are always more enemies to be identified, faced, and vanquished. Stand here amidst my achievement, not yours! I need to speak with Admiral Radisson. He's going to fight. This is Admiral Venice of the Rebel Alliance. Call up a Hammerhead Corvette. I want you to know, Vader. Utter defeat. And that it is I who delivers it crashing down upon you. Now, let us proceed. certain levels have been reached, there is no need to prove leadership or competence. A person with such power is accustomed to having every word carefully considered, and every whim treated as an order, and all who recognize that power know to bow to it. A few have the courage or the foolishness to resist. Come in far when ready.